Welcome back to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be talking about volume profile so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's education platform. Enjoy guys. I am going to do a fresh clean slate volume profile analysis. And so the way I do that is I first get rid of all my other drawing. I also want to squeeze my chart. See, right now I'm interested in where I am, maybe plus or minus 150 points up and down. I want to mark that up to anticipate wherever the market's going to move that I can be ready for it with my structural analysis. So what I need to do is I need to find out how far back in that zone there has been market action. So I squeeze it and I know 2022, that was the high point. So I know it's going to be somewhere around there. It's not going to be any higher than that, but it could be lower than that, maybe as low as say 4,000. So that's really all I need right there. Now I've got everything I need because there hasn't been anything before that's ever been higher than that. But that represents all the price action that should come into play into any analysis I do plus or minus say 150 points. Let's call it 400 up and down. Let's see, the high mark was 4811. Let's call it 300 points up and down. That's my first step. My next step is to turn on the volume profile. So I'm going to go up to indicators and go to technicals, profiles, and then visible range volume profile. The visible range will create a profile that will show the entire volume history of everything that's shown in the visible range or in the window. So right now I have in the window everything from present day all the way back to April of 2021. So it's it's going to create a profile for all of that price action, right? There it is. Looks horrible. I can't really use that. So I need to get rid of all of the extraneous stuff that will mean nothing to me. And all the extraneous stuff includes things like this up and down volume, the two different colors. I want to get rid of that. If you look, you can see where it goes from light to dark above and below. The below one's called the low value node or low value level, and then the high value level or whatever they call it, the HVN and LVN. That's an arbitrary thing that they place in here. And it's supposed to represent one standard deviation of all the volume shown in this entire chart. If it were one standard deviation, they would set it at 68%. So this would represent 68%, but they don't. They put it on 70% because that sounds better. Again, just emphasizing the fact that I'm saying it's totally arbitrary. In all the books, they talk about one standard deviation as being significant, and they'll trade to that level. In reality, they put in 70 instead of 68. 68 isn't even the exact number for one standard deviation. So in reality, it's total bull. It doesn't mean anything. It's an arbitrary number that they've picked. They could have picked 53.4 or 97.2 or... 68.1 or whatever, and called it a standard deviation or a high value node, low value node. It's total crap. It means nothing. The market has no idea that level has any significance. So anybody that's ever showed you volume profile, if they're trying to tell you that it does have significance and you should play that, they're talking out of total ignorance. The other thing that is also ignorant, even though it's a reality, is the POC or point of control. That's this red line. It's showing you the level that has shown the highest level of volume for that price level in that entire chart. Problem is that if I change the chart just slightly, instead of showing all the way to April of 2021, maybe go to October of 2021, that's no longer going to be the POC because the distribution of volume is going to change and some other level is going to be there. So how is that significant? Again, totally insignificant, totally arbitrary. They'll also tell you that POC represents a point of support and resistance, which is another fallacy. It does not. First of all, you can't tell exactly where the POC is going to be. And secondly, price does not find support or resistance on that particular level. So both things are false. Yet this is what everybody in volume profile that's teaching you will teach you these fundamental things as fundamental to volume profile. And then they'll also look at session profiles where they'll look at daily profiles and then look at the shapes of them. It's a P shape, a B shape, a distribution, a double distribution. They'll give you all of these shapes and they'll come up with these reasons why it does this or that. Again, they're delving down into the depths of Elliott wave, which is nothing more than numerology. They're making it up. They cannot prove it. There is no statistical evidence. End of story. The only statistical or actual objective evidence that there is in volume profile that is actually there is the abrupt change from a lot of volume to no volume or lesser volume, from a lot to less. Those changes are significant 
to the market and they persist over long periods of time. In other words, those changes that happen a year ago happen again at the same exact levels a year later or 10 years ago, and they happen 10 years later. It's a phenomenon known as system memory. And it's a lot like a scar that you might have gotten 10 years ago. Let's say you got a cut on your leg 10 years ago. After seven years, every single solitary cell around that scar has been completely replaced at least once, maybe many times, yet the scar remains. Very similar in system memories. Now, this concept of system memory, also called market memory in our case, was originally hypothesized and written about by a very famous mathematician, Benoit Mandelbrot. He's the guy who brought us fractal geometry and the Mandelbrot set, which is very interesting. Perhaps one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. He's right up there with all the greats. I think he passed away back in 2003 or something like that. But he was a mentor to Nassim Taleb. Anyways, he wrote some scholarly articles around the concept of system memory, which he discovered in viewing natural geographical phenomenon that would happen in water basins and how previous catastrophic floods would tend to define an area area where future floods would gravitate towards, even though there was no physical evidence of it. And then he used that same thing because he started becoming very involved in the markets. He noticed the same phenomenon in volume levels and what he called market memory. And then there's been many other mathematicians that have also done scholarly articles on market memory. Now, I had recognized this fact, this behavior, many years before I even knew about Benoit Mandelbrot's stuff. And it wasn't until I read one of his books, maybe a couple of years ago, that I said, I've been talking about this for like more than a decade. And now I see someone who actually has chops because I have no mathematical chops. I know math, but I saw the phenomenon, but I didn't have a way to describe it. He actually described it. And I said, that's exactly what it is. So now at least I have some backing by somebody credible that confirms everything that I've ever seen. And that is that the market has memory, just like your skin with a scar or a water basin with its blood levels has memory that persists. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks guys.